Dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor, I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are continuing our topic about vitamin C or as the one of the representatives of vitamin C group is ascorbic acid. Uh, ascorbic acid is the substance that we all uh, can find in uh, chemist shops and that is called vitamin C and it's one of the forms of vitamin C. So let's talk about it a little bit. Vitamin C is an important water-soluble uh, vitamin in our body. We cannot synthesize it, that's why we must uh, get it from the outside, from the food. As opposed to cats, for example, that can produce it in their body. In which food can we find vitamin C? Citrus fruit like uh, oranges or lemons, uh, also kiwi, uh, green vegetables, broccoli, pepper, mango, tomatoes and most of the people can get vitamin C in satisfactory concentrations um, just from food. But if you have some problems like chronic diseases, if you have chronic infections or maybe pregnancy or your diet is very poor, uh, you may need supplements sometimes. Also don't forget that during the um, heating up and during the storage vitamin C will be uh, degraded. It's not very stable. The profound deficit of vitamin C is seen very rarely today uh, and um, it's called scurvy. Uh, when the person has uh, bleeding gums and the person has a uh, very follicular purpura, like uh, they are bleeding in the hair follicles. The thing is vitamin C plays lots of important functions in our body. Uh, first of all, uh, it's needed for synthesis of collagen. Collagen is the main um, structural protein that makes our body and our organs uh, strong. And it's like frame of our bodies and tissues, uh, meaning that uh, it's a main component of, for example, bones, of our joints, of our skin, of our blood vessels. And uh, when there is not enough vitamin C, all the structures will be suffering and they won't be strong anymore. Also, uh, vitamin C is uh, needed for energy production, for normal work of mitochondria. Uh, vitamin C is needed for normal work of uh, enzymes in liver, uh, P450 cytochromes, that will neutralize the toxins of the drug in the liver. Vitamin C is found in big concentrations in uh, immune cells. By the way, the blood test uh, is not really very effective. It's better to find to um, determine the vitamin C inside the leukocytes, but also this test to know is not available everywhere, and uh, maybe it's not very important to do it because vitamin C can be easily uh, restored uh, just with uh, intake in most of the cases. But there are three forms of vitamin C, by the way. Uh, you can take it uh, in pills, you can do it uh, intramuscular injections, or you can do intravenous injections. Next, vitamin C is needed for synthesis of our steroid hormones. Vitamin C helps iron to be absorbed, it's very important. And also it's needed for folic acid activation, folate, our vitamin. And going back, I already said that uh, there are high concentrations of vitamin C that are used by our immune system and during the infections the vitamin C will uh, drop down. That's why there is an advice. Please, when you are ill, when you're sick, take vitamin C and take the food which is rich in vitamin C. If you're sick, eat lemons. One more interesting fact, smokers. Uh, it was found out that smokers have lower levels of vitamin C in their body. Uh, that's why, by some recommendations, um, smokers may need to, to take supplements like extra 35 milligrams of vitamin C a day, or just eat more food containing vitamin C. But always remember about thermal processing of the food, that vitamin C is very unstable and it's good because it is well absorbed in our guts, but uh, also it is uh, degraded and it, it is a source of 40% uh, of uh, oxalates in our urine. And who has kidney stones, he knows that uh, oxalates may uh, form the kidney stones, who is prone to them, be very careful with vitamin C. Because when our body storages are 
full with vitamin C, it will start to spill it out into urine. And high concentrations of oxalate in urine may cause uh, increased risk of kidney stones. And also, one last uh, thing I wanted to say, that in very high concentrations, uh, vitamin C may become pro-oxidant, meaning it won't uh, neutralize the free radicals, it will be like a free radical. And uh, this, is, um, this may be a good effect during cancer therapy. And there are really a lot of clinical investigations on real cancer patients receiving very high doses of intravenous vitamin C. And uh, I have a separate video about this uh, topic when uh, vitamin C was used intravenously for treatment of different conditions of leukemias, of lymphomas, of different solid tumors, pancreatic, uh, gastric, colon, uh, neural system tumors, etc. Together with chemotherapy, immune therapy, targeted therapy. If you didn't see this video and you are interested, please uh, watch the link down below. Uh, my name is Dr. Igor. I wish you good health. God bless you. Bye bye.